Welcome to my channel, everyone. It's Junior at 615, and I am back with a, another unboxing. Um, likely by the time this video is posted, I will have already introduced this brand on my channel and have kind of given you the backstory, but I'm not doing that for this recording because um, I'm really doing it, one, to document the damage to the box, two, to do an inspection of the contents, and uh, three, to have video proof, just in case I need it um, with this particular item. This purchase was made from Far Fetch, and it did not take long to get here, but this is how the box arrived on my porch. So as you can tell, the box is literally like it's destroyed. There's, there's nothing holding this bag in this box except a wing and a prayer. So we're going to inspect and see if everything that is supposed to be in this box is in this box. And hopefully um, this is a purchase that was a single item because I do have a couple of um, items that should have been in this box. <laughs> so that's not, that's not good. Um, and there is no receipt, so I'm going to have to call them and see if they shipped items separately. Let's see if it's, it has an invoice, or is it just the shipping label? Just the shipping label, so I'm going to have to call and see if the other items were shipped as well because they're not in this um, order. So, I guess now that I have the bag, I'll figure out the rest of it, although I am a little bit nervous um, about whether or not contents actually fell out of the box. Um, this purchase is from a brand that I um, am vaguely familiar with have seen it in retail stores for several years. The brand has been around since 1927. I, if you watch my, um, what will likely be a Feed Your Addiction or prior uh, uploaded video, what got me attracted to this brand is I was looking for a budget friendly alternative to the Dior book tote. I love, love, love the look of that, the jacquard, the, the, the woven patterns and designs. But I'll just tell you, I'm not spending that kind of money um, on a bag. Uh, so I have been scouring brands trying to find an alternative and I discovered this brand. And when I found it, I immediately went to YouTube to search for videos on the brand and found one um, from our tribe sister, Shani Cole. Um, so Shani Cole, I am sending you to the enabler corner um, for this purchase. And um, it is from the brand Furla. Furla has been around since 1927. It is an Italian um, brand. They do, um, they compete style-wise with other luxury uh, brands like the LVs, like the Dior's, and pick, you know, any others. But they are inspired bags. They are decked out furla style furla emblems they are not styled or fashioned to um be um 
dupes of other brands. It is just their take on the style. Now, this particular one I picked up because summertime I have a tendency to do like maybe a little bit more denim shorts and a bit more casual particularly on weekends and I thought that this bag in the color blue denim would be perfect this summer it is a tote style bag which you all know is my preference and the name of this bag is the furla opportunity tote and here is the bag it is in jacquard so it has a tightly woven uh, thread pattern that makes up the body or the um, the the fabric of the bag and it is a boxy book tote style bag with a top handle no outside pocket or organization and it does have the furla logo in the ethnic motif design and unlike the uh dior saddle bag this bag does have feet under the bottom you can see those feet there are palladium and i'll give you a little bit of a side view so that you can see how deep those um, feet are to protect the bottom it does have this uh, piping around the edge of the bag again no outside pocket no pocket or um, water bottle slots on the outside it's just a really really pretty geo print and it has amazing dimensions I'll try to remember to annotate the dimensions on the screen. Um, but what I'm looking for here is just to make sure that there are not any loose or pulled threads to make sure that I don't need to take advantage of a return policy, especially considering the way the box arrived. It looks like it had a little bit of a rough journey. But I think... I'm in good shape. This bag does not come with a shoulder strap. So if you are considering, for example, the um, LV on the go tote, this one would be, um, this is about the medium size of both the Dior and the on the go tote. The on the go has both top handles and shoulder. Dior only has the top handles, which is what this one is fashioned after. But what I like about this design is that while it does not come with a shoulder strap, it does have these little leather tabs here on the inside instead of hardware they kind of fade into the side and make sure you can see that but those are loops where you can actually attach a replacement shoulder strap so if you have a preference on a design or web or if you want something with um, something specific on it you have the option of adding your own strap to this bag I am loving this not with what I'm wearing right now, but on a good denim chambray day, I think this is going to be perfect. This will be so classic with either uh, jean shorts or jean skirt or just a denim bottom and a crisp white um, top, some nice jewelry, maybe a couple bangles, cute sandals. And this bag will absolutely polish everything off. What I dislike about this bag, and I knew it when I purchased it, is that the interior lining is black. Um, so it's a little bit of a dark hole. But I have a Pelicus Large Organizer that I picked up a couple years ago now. On Amazon I actually have it linked in my Amazon store 
And that organizer, which I usually use like inside my MCM bags, I've used it inside uh, my Dooney and Burger Leisure shoppers, I've used it inside my Medium Russell. It fits inside this bag, so it will brighten up the interior and not turn it into this black hole. It will also add some additional organization um, into the interior. Unlike the bags other brands produce um, in this silhouette, Furla has included some organization a little bit more than a couple of others in um, this, uh, this style. So it has an interior zipper pocket. See the hang zipper pull there? So here we go. There's the zipper pocket. And that pocket goes... It ends right here. So just at the top of the um, the first row of um, the motif. So the pocket is pretty generous and it goes over here to here on this side and similar here. Yep, on that side. So it's a nice size pocket. You could use it to throw like your card case in there or your wallet. Maybe you want to use it as your cosmetics and save from a catch-all. Maybe you want to dedicate it for some other purpose. You have that uh, zipper pocket. And then on the opposite wall, not collared, but there are two additional slip pockets here. So one of them is absolutely large enough to fit the largest of smartphones, even with a case. And the other one, mm, it'd be a good place for like pens, lipstick, lip, lip gloss, maybe your reader glasses. You could even stick your sunglasses in there as well, but it's not large enough for a hard side case. And it's so dark in there, you're not gonna be able to see it. Um, another thing that um, I guess is a little bit Diff or similar, not different, similar, is that this bag is an open tote. There is no uh, tongue and loop. There is no dog leash. There, There is absolutely no closure, no snap, no zipper. However, you can add an insert into this bag that has a zipper top if you're concerned about security or wanting to make sure um, that you know, um, things are not necessarily going to fall out of your bag because they're not held in place. One of the other things that I love about this bag, um, in addition to the price point, because it was significantly less than its counterparts, is that because this bag, it, it, it does not have any leather on it at all. Even the piping on the side, it's not leather. It's all woven and jacquard, so lots of threads. Other than the palladium feet, no hardware. Um, is the zipper pull? The zipper pulls. The zipper pull and the palladium feet. So no, um, no other hardware on the bag. The jacquard, if you have watched any of the reviews on the Furla Opportunity Toad or comparison videos, one of the things that is noted is that because the, the, the handles are also jacquard, um, and that's a friction point for wear, right, with threads, they have a tendency to start showing wear a lot quicker than other lower touch points on the bag. This one I like better as an alternative because the while the base of the handles are jacquard, the top of the handles have leather that match the colorway of the bag which is going to prevent that wear on the top where your handles will be from being so pronounced. 
So uh, they are rolled handles and the way the handles are rolled, the little flat part is actually going to rest kind of in the fold of your hand as opposed to digging up or down in the carry. So I really, really, really love that design detail. And I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous with denim. Um, could I see this as being an everyday bag? I can for me because I'm a tote girl. Um, it's large enough for um, probably a 13 inch laptop. Definitely will fit your iPad, your iPad Pro. Um, it is just absolutely stunning. The handles do stand up. So caring for these and storing this bag, making sure that they remain upright is going to be extremely important. But I do like that the straps here in the inside have been reinforced. There's a little hard something there. Um, and the way they are stitched, it's stitched all the way up to the very top of the edge of the bag, which will actually help to provide some additional support. It has that huge um, Furla logo or branding there in the inside, just above the pocket, but it's really understated. Even though this is, you know, the actual, um, what am I thinking of? This is the actual logos all over the bag. It's still really understated and unless people are familiar with the brand, they will not recognize it. They will just think that it's a very um, contemporary geometric pattern, but it is logos all over this bag. So let me just kind of show you here. I do have on denim today, but I love it over the crook of the arm. So there's that, just so that you can kind of see. I like this. I really, really like it. And I am hoping that the pieces that were ordered with this bag, not to go with this bag, but ordered at the same time, are being shipped separately. Otherwise, I guess I'll start the claims process with Far Fetch. So here is the bag. This colorway is very, very similar to uh, the, I think it's the um, oblique pattern in the Dior line. So if you're looking for something similar, something that is denim friendly, um, travel, uh, an airplane carry-on, um, maybe a baby bag. I don't think it has enough organization to be an effective baby bag, but to each his own. Um, I think it is a great alternative to the on the go and to the Dior book tote. The bottom is pretty sturdy. The corners of the bag also, you can see there that there's a, there's a little bit of, hear the difference in that? So it's, it's, it has some reinforcement there in the bottom. And I cannot wait to move into this bag and to see how it wears and especially enjoying the fact that the handles, which again, high touch point leather, will be able to wipe those down, sanitize it and not have any issues. And then for all of the other surfaces on the bag, well, let's just say at some point, um, once this bag has left the house, it will come in contact with some disinfectant spray so there it is all right let me go now I need to call customer service and see if my other items are shipping separately let me know what you think about this uh, purchase this brand those bag the look the design the color just get the conversation started down in the comments please be sure to hit the thumbs up uh, be sure to leave a comment before you head out and if you're not yet subscribed please consider doing so if you like uh, talking about handbags. Um, that's primarily what we do here. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.